Um, my name is Sophia Schade. I'm from the Federal Ministry of Health and I will shortly present the German Genome Initiative Genome.de in the first part of this talk. In the second part, Professor Kohlbacher from the University of Tübingen will introduce you to the German Human Pheno Genome Phenome Archive, GHGA. In Germany, genome sequencing is not yet part of a structured knowledge generation healthcare system. As a result, the potential of personalized care remains unused. Valuable knowledge, not only generated in research, but also in care, remains in many non-network databases or in conventional analog patient files. However, there are already some regional or disease-specific projects and initiatives in the healthcare system that combine genomic and clinical data and that use the results for the benefit of patients with cancer, uh, or rare diseases so far. The German genome initiative Genome.de will take up these projects and initiatives and won't start as a pilot. As a future part of standard care, Genome.de will enable innovative personalized treatment with simultaneous use of the data and health research. Genome.de will consist of three components, a nationwide networked well-structured supply structure in healthcare, a secure database system that has yet to be set up, which primarily enables the exchange of genome and associated clinical data between care facilities, but also enables secondary use for research. And a quality assured advice and education on the subjects of genetics and genomics for citizens and patients, but also advanced training for medical specialists. With Genome.de integrated into healthcare, the benefit for the patient stands in the forefront. After a first clinical examination and phenotyping of the patient, genome sequencing with subsequent bioinformatic evaluation and clinical interpretation will be carried out in a quality assured manner. Data of each subset are then stored continuously in a secure Genome.de database system and will be accessible via a secure interface for the patient, healthcare and research if the patient agreed to this before. Genome.de is intended to guarantee legally compliant and quality assured genetic diagnostics for healthcare, initially for cancer and rare diseases. It aims at a national independent structure with links to European activities as one plus million genomes and data generation with high research and development potential of which the results are transferred to healthcare to the benefit of patients. Further information on Genome.de and the presentations of the National Lighthouse projects you can find at the website genome.de. Next steps for Genome.de will be the building of a Genome.de data infrastructure. For this, 11 million euros were made available from the federal budget from 2021 to 2024. We are now reviewing changes in the financing of complex genome medical services, and we envisage further investments in healthcare. As a national platform, the German Human Genome Phenome Archive, GHGA, is capable to deliver a genome data archiving and analysis infrastructure for Genome.de Genome and to enable a fast translation of research results into healthcare. Furthermore, GHGA can integrate the data of Genome.de into the one plus million genomes data space. And now I would like to hand over to Professor Kohlbacher. Yes, thank you very much. So my name is Oliver Kohlbacher and I'm speaking here on behalf of uh, the whole consortium, the German Human Genome Phenome Archive. Uh, I know it's a, it's a mouthful, but uh, that's what we call it for various reasons, is uh, a data infrastructure for genomics that's currently being set up uh, in, in Germany as part of, also of the efforts to set up federated EGA, Federated European Genome Phenome Archive, um, it consists of several components, um, um, starting with the technical infrastructure where we have a distributed cloud-based infrastructure, uh, governance uh, uh, processes and uh, ethical legal standards, um, technical harmonization, in particular when it comes to pipelines, data exchange uh, standards, 
um, we connect uh, via direct APIs to uh, NGS, uh, larger, mostly academic sequencing centers. And of course, we would also like to establish interfaces data exchange uh, with various uh, activities, in particular with Beyond One Million Genomes in Germany. And ultimately, we also would like to enable advanced uh, um, um, AI-based techniques to analyze the data um, as efficiently as possible. So what we try to include is uh, primarily genomics, but not just genomes. Of course, we also include data on exomes, epigenomes, transcriptomes, and, and proteomes, but that is further down the road. We basically start with what is currently the most relevant for, for healthcare, and, and that is uh, genomes and exomes um, as it stands. Um, we're probably all aware um, that that has quite some challenges when it comes to data volume, data complexity, and of course, the sensitivity of the data. Um, we uh, have thus a, a tired approach, different phases, uh, where we try to set this up. We have a federated approach within Germany, not that the data will not be centralized, will not be stored in one single server, but will be findable through a single uh, portal. Um, we also had to prioritize uh, um, in terms of what we're going to focus on from the healthcare side. Um, and not surprisingly, um, we focused on two communities that we will start with, and that is cancer personalized oncology and rare diseases where uh, we see an immediate impact uh, on healthcare. Um, of course, there's a perspective to include common diseases um, and also have epidemiological uh, uh, studies included uh, via the so-called national cohort um, where the phenotyping data is readily available, but the genome data is uh, still missing. So we, are setting up GHGA uh, and funding started um, half a year ago. We're, we're setting this up um, as a federated infrastructure within a federated infrastructure. And that has to do with the transition that the European Genome Phenome Archive EGA is undergoing. Um, we are seeing um, many national data hubs coming up and GHGA will form the German data hub within a federated EGA infrastructure. Um, there are many advantages to this federated structure. First of all, the, the growing size of the data sets, but also regulatory compliance. Uh, there are country specific applicable laws uh, that are based on GDPR, that, but uh, that are also uh, limiting uh, what can happen. And in Germany, uh, to make things worse, uh, these regulations are state regulations and not federal regulations. So we actually have to deal with 16 states within Germany that have their own regulation governing that, which does not make our life a lot easier, as you can probably imagine. Um, so we are building this national infrastructure that itself is federated again. And this has been established as part of the NFDI, the uh, National Research Data Infrastructure. So this is a recent initiative that uh, started to receive funding last year. We were setting up for different domains in science research data infrastructure. So there is one for plant research, there is one for epidemiology, there is one for engineering, uh, one for physics. And so you can imagine that there's a, a whole breadth uh, um, data sharing is not just a thing in, in the life sciences. This is also relevant to other disciplines. And in this first funding round, we received uh, uh, about 20 million euro to set up this German new Phenome Genome Archive. It is one out of these nine national research data infrastructures, and of course, the one that is most relevant uh, to the topic today. So the core mission is to build a, a platform, national platform for fair, fair data archival of omics data that connects the major omics centers. We have a lot of data sitting already around in local silos and various projects, and we try to bring that together provide controlled access to that, um, build a joint ethical, legal, and data governance framework for data sharing and also incentivizing data sharing. 
um, and through this cloud-based infrastructure that we're building upon also democratized data uh, processing and use of data in, in research and of course um, uh, through this network with other national uh, international uh, uh, initiatives within Europe in particular. So the way this works, uh, the overall data flow is not surprising, but uh, I just wanted to show that um, we have um, currently six major academic sequencing centers in Germany that are contributing to the first phase of GHGA. They basically transfer the uh, raw data, raw sequencing data and annotated uh, clinical data uh, to the extent they have it um, to a local data hub. We have six of these data hubs um, that have similar cloud-based infrastructure that store the data and the metadata and then transfer it to a cent uh, cent uh, transfer the metadata to, uh, to a central THGA uh, infrastructure through the web UI, all the data is uh, thus findable, but the data does not leave the data hub. So if we have a federated network out of these six data hubs, and we forward this metadata to uh, a central EGA um, so that it becomes findable Europe-wide. And then of course, researchers can discover the data through the various interfaces. Uh, it becomes findable at the national and also the international level. So of course we are integrating that with uh, what Sophia just uh, explained, this uh, national genome initiative of Germany, genome.de. Um, and of course we are uh, setting up the interaction with uh, federated EGA in order to uh, enable that. And I think um, um, this infrastructure that should be up and operational uh, by the end of the year uh, would be very much uh, uh, looking forward to interacting with all of you uh, in, in with this project.